Hello, welcome back to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. Uh, today, uh, I just built a pretty cool cash flow dashboard. Um, it's cool because um, I I build the all the components that make up cash flow, and I don't derive cash flow, but let that be the sum of everything. And um, I uh, measured it up against uh, all my other reports, and it's the exact same. So it's a you know a derived calc on the fly, but um, leads to the same uh, cash flow measure that I've always been calculated. Let me share it. This is the cash flow analysis dashboard that I just built. Uh, so it's really cool. This is really the main chart right here, um, showing my cash flow from last month, this month and next month and then uh, the average over the last 12 rolling months and then the average of the next 12 future months um, so these are the ingredients of cash flow so you know what is cash flow cash flow is really the key driver to personal finance of how to handle it um, you know you always try to spend less than you make coming in for a given month um, so up at the top are all my sources of income, um, my after-tax income, you know, after every tax and 401k thing is taken out. This is my take-home pay. And then this is just kind of side income that I make, maybe credit card rewards. Um, so this is all my income. This is um, the first ingredient of cash flow. And then these are all my spend categories. This is the second ingredient of cash flow. And uh, these are negative numbers. And then at the bottom, this equals cash flow. And that's what I mean by it's derived. So uh, cash flow is just the total of these numbers right here. Um, and it's just the sum of all these numbers. So these are all the assets. Here's all of the debt, and it just sums up to cash flow. Those are the KPIs you see up at the top. That's really cool. And there's a spark line showing uh, just the full history of all these uh, categories. This is uh, all the ingredients of cash flow by year, just in a matrix. Um, that's nice. And then you can uh, you can drill down. So now we're looking at um, just uh, 2024. What's going on? So you know my income's pretty much the same. I do get a bonus in October. Um, I got some insurance payment uh, last month. Other than that, I do try to want to do DoorDash. Probably won't do that much, not at all. But uh, and then on the spending side, I'm really just trying to keep it easy and not spend too much until here. I'll spend a lot, but uh, this is a cool tool. You know, cash flow is really what you can control in your personal finance, and it's really the key ingredient to your net worth change. Um, you know, this chart right here shows my net take-home pay over my years of working. You know, humble beginnings. I was making forty-three grand take-home, fifty-one, fifty-six. A, a steady climb. Um, to where I'm at now, uh, my spend has raised, risen uh, with my pay, and lately it's gotten um, too high. Like last year, I spent twenty thousand dollars more than I made, and this year, I'm just trying to break even. But this is the difference between those two numbers: cash flow.
And uh, this is net worth change. This is really what you want to control. The bottom line figure of what's telling the story, your net worth change, and cash flow is a key ingredient of net worth change. And, uh, you know, we can drill into 2024, see what's going on. You know, spending was really high March, April, May, but pretty good lately. This chart is really nice for overall showing my cash flow by year. You know, in the beginning, I always did a good job of staying above water in the green with my cash flow. Um, it has allowed me to get away with such a bad year of spending so much that I can't afford to do that anymore. So um, trying to fix that. This just kind of looks at cash flow by month, um, the past 24 years plus the next 12 future months. I mean months in total, so like 36. So, you know, really bad 2023. Um, 2024 started off really bad. But uh, last month, June, was a great, great month. And uh, hopefully we keep it in the positive. Uh, this is my assets, all the income just by group. So where is money being made? So um, last month I got an insurance payment. That's what this big income is. But other than that, not making too much more than my uh, after-tax income. And then here's my spend categories. All the spend categories. And this is cool just to look at within the month, your cash flow in the in the month measured up with last month. Um, so for spend, I'm right at where I was last month. Last month, I did get a lot of money from my insurance. I won't get that this month, so it's going to be around 8,400. 8, okay, and then spend. I'm way under for last month, and that's really good. I did get um, seven, $700 back to me from not traveling. And then this is the cash flow in the month, so you know, I don't, I get paid the 15th and the 30th, 31st. So, you know, I'm in the negative, of course, in the beginning, but I'm not too far in the negative. negative. Um, only got a negative 3,500 and I was in the positive for a little bit. But now I'm in slightly in the negative. As you can see here, see here, negative 152. So the key is just to not let this uh, get out of control. Just keep the spending down, keep the cash flow. I'm going to get paid at the end of the month. I'm looking forward to maybe like a two, three thousand dollar positive cash flow. Maybe not that high, but um, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, the key to this kind of data, this is using all forms of data. It's using Y data where it's you just unique by the month and very uh, long data that is columnar, such as being able to do something like this, a matrix like this, to show cash flow at the bottom derived from all of its ingredients. So I hope you like this dashboard. I hope you like this video. I hope you learn about more about personal finance and you know really the key driver to it all is cash flow manage your cash flow and that's all about setting a budget and following it and just being good about not spending have a good one